If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you might know that I have a Reams. I actually have had one for the best part of two years. And you know what? For the most part of my time using this service, I was pretty satisfied with it. However, as time has passed, I have discovered a series of issues. Series of issues that have made this service unishable or even something comparable to an S word. You know which word it is, but I don't want to put myself in liability issues. So yeah. Let me tell you something, the first run of my heart was pretty much a problem free one. If I had to say something about it, it would be that maintenance was often announced with just 5 minutes of advance, which got kinda annoying when the service shut down right in the middle of a server event. But at the time, it really wasn't that big of an issue, so we moved on. My second and third realm came and went without much glory, they lasted less than a month each. But then, my fourth realm opened. Piñagra. If you have been following this channel for a long, you may remember some tours I did on the world back in the days. We almost didn't have any problem with this server, except for one notable exception. One time, just a few days after 1.17 came out, we were playing on Discord when something odd happened. The world looked as if my Wi-Fi had turned off, but as I said, I was on Discord, so I knew that it was working well. Furthermore, my friends also said that they were also lagging out, and after a few seconds of confusion, we were kicked out of the world. We thought that maybe this was just a quick server issue, so we jumped right back at it, and then uh, we found out that all of our progress from the last hour had been erased. Literally, just gone, and we didn't know why. We kept playing, a little bit frustrated because of what had happened, and later that Sunday, it happened again. That was the moment that I realized that something was definitely wrong, so to Mojang support I went, sending the next message. Hi, recently we have had problems with our realm, as it has been erasing our progress. Almost every two hours the game will behave as if you have lost your connection, being unable to grab items from the ground, not being able to break or place blocks, etc. But instead of kicking a player, the server kicks all players. When we reconnect, we find out that all of our progress in the last 40 to 50 minutes has been erased. I would like to know if this is a Mojang server issue or an issue of our world. And if it is the latter, I would like to know if there is any way of fixing it. And you know what response I got? How Mojang reacted to their service deleting our progress? Sorry, we do not cover data corruption fixing. With that response I felt pretty ignored, as I wasn't having a data corruption problem, mainly because my world isn't on my PC, it was on Mojang servers. And if it truly was a data corruption problem, then why didn't Mojang offer support for problems on their servers? I felt a little ignored, but they should never appear back, so I didn't really think about it. Fast forward to summer 2022, and Minecraft 1.19.2 just came out. If you are up to date in Minecraft related topics, you probably know how polemic this update was for adding chat filters. Before I continue, I want to make myself clear. I believe that chat filtering is a good idea, as a lot of children play on unmoderated servers where they can be exposed to harmful content. I just have some problems with how it was implemented, so I'm going to explain to you. Me and my friends are having the time of our lives, as we find ourselves with a lot of free time to play together. But one day, all of a sudden, one of my players tells me, Hey, I can't connect to the server. And I'm like, oh, what's your problem? And so he tells me that he's getting an error because he's missing a public profile key. And so, knowing what error he has, I get searching for a solution. And what I find is that a lot of people are having this issue with if you have your own private server, it can be fixed by simply changing a property on the server file. But if you have a realm, you don't get access to said file, meaning that you have no meaningful way of fixing this issue, other than the issue deciding to just fix itself. Some other people with a realm posted how they fixed the issue for them, but none of the solutions was working for us. And after reading about a dozen different solutions, I reached a conclusion. It's a Mojang problem, so I reached out to them. One of my players has been constantly getting the error missing profile public key. This server requires secure profiles. This problem appeared out of nowhere as they haven't had any previous connectivity issues. We have looked for various ways of fixing it and we haven't found any that can be made with the real service, with synchronizing the time zone as well as resetting the players both game and PC, ways that some people had said fixed the problem for them. Said player has got a Minecraft in a legitimate way uses the official launcher and has made the Microsoft account migration. Is there any way of fixing this issue and of preventing it from occurring on future occasions? This time, the response I got miraculously wasn't automated, or at least it didn't seem to be, and they told me that this was a known issue and that they were looking into it with high priority. However, this was definitely worrying, as the issue had been up on Jira, the official Minecraft book tracker, for more than a month by that time. And I didn't know it at the time, but Mojang would end up delaying the fix until November of 2022. Good thing that for us turning the chat filter off worked. 
well except it really didn't the problem appeared again the next day and just as it came it went in completely random intervals for the good part of a month and i know i said that a fix had come out but it really hasn't while the problem is definitely less common minecraft 252982 is still up and not resolved I really didn't follow the complaint as I knew that Mojang will just not give a solution. And after 1.19.3, at the very least, my player hasn't experienced it anymore so far, so who knows, maybe it is fixed. This is just one of the problems with the chat filter, as just a lot of people have stated, they find it really dumb that this censoring takes place also on Rion, which are closed servers with people that you know. This has resulted in some hilarious things like the word Japan being censored, to some not so funny like Mojang actively breaking their promise to not spy on chat. And while on the topic of bugs that take years to fix, book and wheels. Sometimes when writing a book on Quill, the game will delete what you wrote, or if you're writing a lot of text, it will kick you out for being AFK. But while these books can be annoying, at the very least, they aren't that game-breaking. Sure, you might stop playing for a few days if you write 12 pages of text just to find that they are wiped out, but nothing is extremely infuriating. However, just a few weeks ago, our server had a grand reopening for Christmas holidays, and everyone was very excited, me included. But as soon as we jumped back on our almost 3,000 in-game days server, we were met with the worst of fates. The world erasing bug happened again, and again, and again, and once again. In the span of three days, we lost our progress four times. And this is where things really get dark. My first move was, as usual, to write the Mojang support. The answer they gave me? A helpful guide on how to cancel my subscription. Yeah, thanks, I got the message. By this point, I was reasonably angry, so I started investigating to see what I could find. And oh boy, did I find things. For starters, we were not the only ones getting this issue. Turns out, a lot of people have. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot, like really a lot. Just jump on the real subreddit threads on progress deletion and see how many people say, hey, this is happening to me too. It's actually kinda terrifying. Both Java and Bedrock are suffering from this issue, and the issue isn't really new either. Just read its official book entry where it states that it affects all versions from 1.15 onwards. And despite it being a more than two year old game break, back do you know how many official statements there are regarding it none zero or at least none that i could find despite it being duplicated more than 70 times on jira there is no priority status to it and it's officially referred to as a community consensus book i don't know about you but i find the fact that there exists a book that can randomly delete your progress without any warning, making the game literally unplayable and unenjoyable and without any acknowledgement from Mojang as an insult. An insult to their player base. And you know what's worse? This isn't a 2020 book, not even a 2019 or 2018 book. This is a 2015 bug. Realms came out in 2013. Realms has had a bug for most of its history that can just randomly delete your progress and apparently no one in Mojang is doing anything to fix it, not even acknowledging it. I appealed my issue with Mojang support and they reached out to me. They mailed me a handful guide on how to manage the saves of my world, still not what I told them that I was having trouble with. They also told me to change the world to a different slot to try and mitigate the problem. Easier said than done as my world currently weights around 15 gigabytes. It's especially infuriating if you remember that you can't get a refund for your Realm subscription, meaning that now I have a world in which no one can play and Mojang still got my 8 euros. As to what you might do if you're suffering from this issue, well, in the end, I used a world editing tool called MCA Selector, which will be linked in the description, that allowed me to delete and use chunks from my world, considerably reducing the world size and making it possible for a world slot change, which indeed fixed the issue. However, if for any reason you are unable to use a world editing tool or changing the world slot doesn't work, well then, first, cancel your Realm subscription. Mojan hasn't fixed this issue and everything points that they won't be fixing it, at least not anytime soon. You are better off using a third-party hosting service, which can be less comfortable to set up than a Realm, but they are definitely more reliable and you won't lose your progress without warning. Just make sure to use a reliable one so as to not get hacked and or scammed. And secondly, protest. 
It's pretty clear that this bug won't be fixed anytime soon, and if I know anything from the Minecraft development team, is that they at least listen to the community. If everyone in the community started asking for this to be fixed, believe me, it will get fixed within a week. But until that happens, remember, don't buy Minecraft Free Arms. Hola, soy yo, Wandes Hispanohablante. Si estás viendo esto, gracias por ver el vídeo hasta el final, pero sobre todo muchas gracias por haber acompañado este canal durante toda su historia. Hace ya casi 7 años que subí el primer vídeo en esta cuenta y muchas cosas han cambiado desde entonces. Si por algún milagro has seguido este canal durante los últimos 7 años, eh, sabes que todas las veces que he prometido esto he fallado, pero no se pierde nada por intentar una vez más, así que aquí va. A partir de ahora me gustaría sacar un vídeo al mes que estará en inglés con subtítulos y que serán vídeos de investigación y o opinión. Sé que nunca he hecho este tipo de contenido, pero me gustaría probar y ya tengo un par de ideas. Así que si eres una de las 111 personas que se ha suscrito por contenido anterior, te agradecería mucho que te quedaras, aunque sea solo para darle una oportunidad. Y yo os espero el mes que viene con un vídeo un poco húmedo. Venga, nos vemos.